Welcome to Freedom Through Faith. Shalom Aleichem. Every day we hear great stories about real, true life heroes that are saving lives, police officers, soldiers, people that are fighting for simple people, firemen, amazing people who are saving lives. But I think that the light of the spotlights is not shining enough on the individual people, those simple ones that are struggling with darkness in emotional and spiritual ways. I think that those heroes are the real defenders of the crown. I think that each and every one of us needs a little bit to pay attention to the challenges, to the difficulties, to the thousands of ups and downs that you experienced in your own life. Try to remember a little bit how many thousands of waves crashed to your face, how many mountains with no end, how many days nights and years of climbing rocky mountains, challenging days, hard hours, horrific nights, terrifying moments you passed with great success. When what is the success? The complete happiness, the day of redemption. We're not there yet, but where are we? We are in the now, in the present time, and here we are, standing, and keep on pushing forward towards those great goals that we set for ourselves. We decided long time ago to be better people, to be good, to be honest, to be truthful, to confront our fears, to stand against all enemies that are coming from the dark side and to fight them now. There is no doubt that there can be days that we're stronger and days that are darker for us and we don't feel that strength within us. Those days are challenging us, challenging our self-esteem and our own self-appreciation. But all the time we're recovering and standing back grabbing and holding the weapons, the tools of our art to keep on marching forward towards Zion, toward Yerushalayim, to the place that we believe that over there, the Shekhinah Kedusha, the holy presence of Hashem, is shining in completion. Some days that light is shining from outside and we have goals and we have desires and we have deep understandings on certain things that we must achieve. And we desire those things and we're fighting to find them, to grab them, to hold them, to, to buy them, to own them, for them to be ours. And sometimes the light is shining from within and we're desiring to find inner comfort, deep self-awareness, inner connection to the source of our souls. In many aspects, the Creator is reflecting His greatness to us, upon us, and to us, revealing His light to us through other reflections that surrounds us. and using us as well to shine the light of His greatness to our surroundings. In a world of great reflections, mirrors from 360 degrees shining one light that shines onto thousands and thousands and thousands of mirrors reflecting in completion and in perfection, the light 
of the Almighty. And we as individuals can see only a fraction of His greatness, can experience only one moment at a time, only one spot in place, in space. But we should believe that the dividings and the constrictions that we're feeling and being forced to live under are only in this imaginary world of physicality, while our souls are eternal and well connected from within as an oak of life, tree of life, branches on branches that are blooming and bringing out life to the world as a child to your parents, as a parent to your children. You are a link in a live chain of life part of great legacy and you are the one that you are and there is no darkness in the world that can block your shine your true reality your voice when you're talking when you're acting when you're thinking the waves of your movements are hitting and expanding and going to great places in affecting positive great changes, elevating sparks from the darkest places that you fall into in your life. If you fell to sin, if you fell to darkness of sadness, depression, crazy fears and anxieties, and you had a positive thought, and you had a good will to survive, to climb out of that darkness, that light, when it shined, it did not shine only for you. It was like to lit a candle in the dark. It helps others as well. You were mainly focusing on lighting that candle. But the ones that were around you enjoyed that light even more than you. And they were able to see you, especially, as a role model for them. Now, sometimes the circles are physical, and people that sees that light are the ones that are standing close to you. But sometimes the circles are spiritual, and the people who are enjoying your light are people that has a spiritual connection with you, to you, that they depend on you, not physically at all, just spiritually or emotionally. People that have similarity to you. If you're a father, so fathers like you. If you are smart, so smart people like you. If you have been hurt or traumatized, so people that have been hurt and traumatized as you will enjoy the illuminations that you will achieve in the great times of not giving up to despair, strengthening yourself and pushing up back to life. When you work on yourself, your light is shining. When you're being brave to hold on to life, to maintain them and to increase their pulse, you are affecting the whole wide world with that positive energy and it will shine and will expand and the circles are growing and we're reaching millions on millions of people already and it will continue in that great way till the moment that time will end and eternity will flow into the system when there will be no more limitations no more darkness all dark forces will vanish melt and disappear to the underground of the new world and there will be no more death no more sorrow no more pain and the supervision on the world will be based on kindness love and mercy great generosity to us all and i think it's enough for now blessings
is RDMC with the Muna project. All the nations with me, close your eyes, just breathe, see the truth. Don't chase the fake world, don't buy the fake news. Be yourself, your own true self. Don't let no one take our natural wealth. See the good, no fear, no despair. Cherish who that you are and share. Source of power from an endless spring. Light up courage. In yourself, you're they true. can kick you down to the ground Hold yourself up till you are put up your crown King of the creator, holy soul inside Focus on the spiritual and you shall